Hello and welcome to this unboxing video. I am, of course, Jonathan J. Ryan out of Wargaming Recon, and I want to let you know that we're going to be doing something really cool. So I have this box here. We've done a lot of other unboxings, which I hope you have seen on our unboxing playlist here on YouTube. So we are part of the Wargaming Recon podcast, and I am the host. And today in this box, I have some terrain that I will unbox for your needs on your tabletop. So this terrain I have purchased via Amazon. I am an Amazon affiliate, so you'll find a link down below to how to get this. It's an affiliate link, I just wanna let you know. And this is called the Bachman Scenescapes. They're five to six inch tall trees. They are blue spruce. I picked them up because my buddy, Adrian Benson, who's also a co-host on the show, and I are gonna be running a game of bolt action at Total Confusion. 31, I believe it is. Yeah, 31 years. Wow. Uh, this coming February, in February 2017, it'll be at the Best Western in Marlborough, Massachusetts. So we need some trees for our bolt action game. It's kind of a, a Bastogne, Battle of the Bulbs kind of setting. So let's unbox, okay? So we can come here on the side. And, you know, you get a handy thing if you're a kid or you're not old enough. Get an adult, use one of these, a box cutter, they're handy, but they're sharp. Okay, so that's that side, and this one. Now, I should say, since I got this on Amazon, I'm an Amazon Prime member, and you might be as well, so you get free two-day shipping, so you don't have to pay extra for that. And then let's just cut across to open it. So we put this away. We cut a little more. This is what happens when you think you've cut through the whole thing and you have it. There we go. So I will open it up. I had purchased two of these, so you can see they're nicely packed and they look at this. The air bubbles, and these are great because all the plastic's not good for the environment. Um, these are just air, so you don't have to worry terribly about it. You pop them, and um, these are actually recyclable depending on your location. So they are recyclable. Pop them, put them in your recycling bin, or you can use them to store stuff. So, Bam, let's put those aside. We've got these trees, so let's take them out. So that's one, and that's two. Get rid of the box, we don't need them. So these were kind of shipped upside down. You can see the flock on them, the whole one close. It's kind of coming loose, but these are, and it's getting on my table, which <laughs> you can see some down here and here coming out of the box. It's bound to happen. Uh, this table mat that you see here, ooh, it's a cigar box battle mat. And I did an unboxing about that not too long ago before the Christmas and Hanukkah and Festivus holidays of 2016. I'm gonna be reviewing these on a future episode of the podcast with my buddy Alex Kostopoulos. And then I'm hoping to have both of the cigar box battle, Matt guys, Corey and Chris on the show, but at least one of them will be coming on to talk about what they are doing there. And you might be thinking, if it's a winter thing, why didn't I get trees that have snow on them? So I talked to my buddy Adrian, he said, don't do the snow, it's gonna be so limited. One of the things I like about the Bachman stuff, and Bachman really is intended for model railroading. You can see on the back, they have these scale adjustments. So you can tell, what it represents so these are as i said what are they five to six inches tall trees so five inch tree and most we're giving is somewhere between an n and a ho scale ho i call ho it's ho i know so it gives you generally how tall it is so if you want really really tall trees you can go down your scale of course and you go to six mil or something like that and if you want tall tree uh, shorter trees you go up so let's take them out if I can figure out how. So looks like they open on the side. And this is the same thing. I'm just I'm using one uh, as it says on it. For use with all train layouts and scales, realistic colors, size assortment for added realism, blah, blah. They give you tips on uh, tree placement and how to do. And they come with some pretty basic bases, I believe, is my understanding. My buddy Adrian has some just regular evergreen ones but these blue spruce ones are really cool and they're different and they were a little cheaper actually so 
Here's the box. They're in like this. I come on a tray, you slide out. And then we'll get really close. You can see there's little slots there. So you just I don't know what you do. Oh, so you just you push down. See? You push this down. And then you can wiggle the tree out. And they're in there good, which is great because since they are in there so good, you know they're gonna stay. So here's the tree with its base. You can always cut that off and do alternate basing. And we just we put it on the table. Then it falls over. So you, you can see. Well, they fell over before, but here's another one. So you can make a they fall. And it could be the table, but again, we're going to a convention, so we don't know what we're going to get. But you could put these on a larger basing if you wanted. So you do an area, and hopefully they won't all fall over like this. I had expected larger bases, so I'm a little surprised by that. But the trees, they look nice. They're sturdy. They, they're thick wire with the flock on them. I think they can be pretty durable. And you just... Be careful about how you set them down, I guess. Some will fall over, some won't, but there's a, a wooded area. And really, you want to create, you don't want it to be so dense that your models can't move. Of course, I don't have models handy, but your models can't move around in there. You want to make it so you can actually get a unit in. Some people would take these, like I said, and they put them on a base. Oop, let's pretend this is a base. So they'd have a, a bunch, and this would be your area terrain. So anyway, that's the blue spruce. Trees by Seenscapes. Um, as you can tell, I'm a little underwhelmed that they don't all stand up so well, but they look good on the table, I think. Here's another look, one last look for you. Look at this way. So they look good, and then imagine it just for some difference. Here's a little bit of elevation. And you get, as they all fall, but you put some stuff on. And granted, you would use proper hills or whatever. So they're a little sturdier, and there you go. So the Bachman Seenscapes Blue Spruce Trees, you can get via Amazon, and they're nicely boxed by Amazon, as you saw. And in here, actually, in the thing, even if you got them at a game store, they're in here really good, and they stay upright. They don't touch. You don't have to worry about any of that. I got them back in my thing, but that happens, especially the first time you pull them out. There's going to be extra flocks. You shake them around a little bit. You hit them. Any of that loose stuff, or you could run a, a paintbrush, a dry paintbrush over it, and just kind of go and get any of the extra stuff off. So, thank you so much for watching this unboxing video here at War Gaming Recon. And I hope you'll take the time to check out our podcast at wargamingrecon.com. We release new episodes every other week. There'll be roughly 25 episodes for the year. And you'll have that. And plus, you'll see me and my buddy and fellow co-host Adrian Benson at TotalCon here in February 2017. It's that week of President's Day, and other co-host Mike Payne will be there, but he's going to be doing his own game, uh, Battle of Hangai, Variations of Hangai. So to see that, and we'll have a meetup and all sorts of stuff. But anyway, the trees! So thank you for watching, and until next time, keep on gaming!